In our quest to find underreported innovative stories in Ghana, we came across this young man doing amazingly well in the agro space in the eastern region, precisely Kede. He's into a lot of things, agro food processing, mixed crop farming, animals rearing, and other things. Today, our focus is on his innovation about cassava farming in Ghana. For him, he said there is a need for cassava stick multiplication to reduce the quantity of stick you need to plant your acre or acres of cassava. So, like you are seeing him doing, the cassava sticks he, he, he is using are very, very small. It's like, I think some are even sh shorter than a... Um, an index finger so what you have to make sure is that you cut the stick making sure that each stick has a note or an eye on it where it would germinate okay so for him you do not need to cut the stick very long and then dip it into the soil or you find a spot where you dip into the soil so he's coming to show us how the treatment is done for him he said that you need to treat the cassava sticks before it is transported to the farm for planting this prevents diseases such as fungi and nematode diseases so he calls this the wood ash solution using warm water not hot water warm water where your hand can handle so as he is demonstrating in the video he's showing us how it is done but he says you need to take it through another treatment where we call it the um, coconut um, treatment. But he said that knowledge is best for him. So he would show us the wood ash solution. For the purposes of demonstration, he is teaching us how this is done. But he said when he's doing it to supply to customers, he makes sure the water dries on the sticks for by drying it for four days for the water to dry out completely before it is transported to the his clients for planting but the, for the purposes of this video he's teaching us how this is planted after taking it through the treatment so with this method you just have to bury the cassava in the ground unlike the old method where you cut the stick very long find a spot where you need to put in a soil before it terminates for his method you do not need to worry about that you have to just bury it in the ground interestingly this innovative method nanaba has come up with reduces the amount of cassava sticks needed for uh, planting by over 70 percent by over 70 percent so on your screen is how the cassava sticks look like how the the length look like very very short as you can see so he's teaching us how it is planted, just burying it in the ground. It's as simple as that. And the interesting thing is that it reduces the maturity rate by over three months. The, the previous method of planting cassava takes about nine to 12 months, depending on the variety, for it to be matured. So, you, so it's Im important to know the different varieties of cassava and their maturity period in this case. For his case, he said it takes between four to six months for the cassava to be matured depending on the variety you are growing so that's reduction in maturity rate and also increasing the yield he said with this method you can increase your yield more if you do this the cassava also grows bigger so for example if an acre can give you maybe eight tons using the previous method his method would give you about 12 tons here's an number coming to tell us more about his method CEO of, um, Isadol Agri Village. we are located in Kedi. we are into crop production and um, helicopter yeah uh, yeah we do um, basically we are into innovation so as of now we have cassava as I'm holding we we, we, we are making a new way of um, you know getting planting materials the purpose of this um, innovation is um, sorry okay hold this one too for me right. so that you do the difference between the two okay, okay. okay. yeah go ahead so as I said um, the, the, the main reason why we are using this um, method instead of this we all know the local way of planting cassava by cutting stem and then planting but with this one you cast them, you do treatment before planting. 
So instead of using the two methods, we use three methods. We cast them. This one is cutting and planting. This one is cutting, um, treating, and then what? Planting. If the moment you do treatment, meaning you are preventing the uh, you are uh, protecting the cassava against cassava mosaic virus and other fungi infection. Also, you are doing this though to prevent um, to increase yield and then um, getting quality planting material for the next section. And then the number of um, let me say yield the the, the pounds that you are going to get from this node is going to be different from the local way of planting. So you are going to get uh, more planting materials at the same time, more yield, and then less period. Because uh -huh. this our method takes four to six months to maturity. After six months, you have to take everything from the field and do replanting. Because cassava is binary crop. Cassava is neither a perennial crop or an annual crop. It's a binary crop. So you don't have to wait for more than a year before you have to start harvesting your cassava. We do a whole lot. So if you want to know more about, you know, Isodo Agri Village, you can contact us, find us on social media, and then we do more of the conversation. Can you tell us your contact number? All right. My number is um, 0550-256211, or 0208-126011. So as you've heard from Nanaba, he's in the agri space to come up with innovative ideas that would reduce cost of production, increase yield, increase employment in the sector, and then ultimately make the sector attractive to the youth. So here's a story that we all need to support. We all need to spread across to reach the larger audience or people interested in farming, especially cassava, to adopt this method of making sure that their cassava grow bigger, reduces the maturity rate, and also making sure that you do not need a lot of cassava sticks or seedling to cover your acre or acres of farm. So if you're interested in this method or interested in growing cassava, you can contact Nanaba to supply you the seedlings or even come to your farm to train you or how to do the treatment before planting your cassava he said it prevents the cassava or plants against diseases or fungi infections so this is something that a lot of farmers need to know so that's him showing Enyuna Manye, the host of the Ghanaian farmer tv show on how the plant germinates you can see it's germinated so beautifully and he's also showing her the root. The, num the more the root, the more cassava you are going to get through this method. So this is something that we need to all adopt and support. This is a young man doing it and he needs the support of all Ghanaians to keep pushing his innovative ideas. Okay. And so as you can see, the, the sticks are so short and I'm sure that with one cassava stick, you can even get more than 20 or 15 of this. Interestingly, he's also into the multiplication of plantain suckers. So for him, there is no waste when you harvest your plantains. You just have to uproot the mother plant after harvesting your plantain, cut the root off and then divide it into pieces like the way he did in this video and then take it through the wood ash solution using warm water he said it prevents fungi and nematode disease with the plantains you do not need to dry the water by spreading it on the floor like he did for the cassava or like he has been doing for the cassava right from the solution you plant it on your nursery bed and transplant it after four weeks he said this also increased the size of plantains during maturity whilst also reducing the maturity rate because there would be no disease attack on it so yes this is a young man with so much ideas about the agri space he said he will keep propagating new ideas of farming in Ghana because he wants to inspire a lot of people to go into agriculture he also said they use this thing for fertilizer and also it can be eaten so like he, he's coming to do in the video he said it's very good for diabetic patients so those who know the that this is good for them they eat it like sugarcane 
and so yes so this is a young man doing amazingly well and we decided to um profile him or capture his story on society 360 by letting others know about the innovation he is currently promoting in the agri space nanaba is in is in a lot of things he does a lot of things and so with our subsequent productions we would capture him telling us more about his work in the agriculture space he also trains farmers in the area about his innovations and things like that but it is not free so if you want to be trained you should prepare for the cost he will charge you but it is no much he said it's no much we asked him and he told us that he only charges a small fee to train farmers on this innovation so this is a young man a young millionaire in the agri space we are inspired kindly follow society 360 on social media platforms such as you such as youtube facebook tiktok um instagram twitter society 360 to spread us and then support our work to keep motivating us to bring these innovative stories in ghana it's a bye from us and thanks for watching bye